Michael Bloomberg is facing a lot more criticism, I should say, over releasing his tax returns. Take a look. Bloomberg, your campaign has said that you would eventually release your tax records yes. when it comes to transparency, but people are already voting now. Why should Democratic voters have to wait? It just takes us a long time. Unfortunately or fortunately, uh, can I comment on that? Fortunately, I, I make a lot of money and we do business all around the world and we are preparing it. The, the, the number no. of pages will probably be thousands of pages. I can't go to TurboTax. All right, to many, it struck them as a little condescending, but the fact of the matter is there is a limit to the number of people and the income they can claim to continue to use TurboTax. Let's say if you have operations all over the world and it's total into tens of billions of dollars, you cannot. But maybe it's just the way he presented it that sort of ticked off people to account and tax-free wealth author Tom Wheelwright. Tom, he's right on what he said, but the manner in which he said it didn't come off right. What do you think? Well, well obviously, what... Um you know, TurboTax is great for the Amy Klobuchar's of the world who uh, have a W-2 and a 1099 and a couple of other things like that. But uh, Mike Bloomberg's taxes, I'm sure he has a whole team of CPAs right. that does nothing but his taxes all year. Yeah, and I believe the TurboTax, it stops at 10 million. If you got earning more than 10 million, you can't use it. And he's considerably more than that. But having said that, and it is, you know, it, it kind of stumbled on his pitch for capitalism, where in the, the second half of the debate, he was making a little bit more sense. Uh, I'm just wondering if that fell on deaf ears to the crowd listening, that they have already said anyone who's, you know, aspiring to the virtues of capitalism, our system of government, the way it is, it's not flying. What did you make of that? Well, I, you know, here's the thing. It seems like today we're in a place where um, making money in capitalism isn't a good thing. Right. And, uh, you know, the tax law is meant for capitalism. The way the tax law is built is for capitalism. And, and it, it is complex, but it's built so that people can create more employment and they can create more jobs and more real estate and boost the economy. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm probably giving away my age here, Tom, but there was a time where being a wealthy candidate wasn't such a, a negative. Uh, obviously, John Kennedy carried it off. I mean, Ronald Reagan wasn't near a billionaire. Of course, we're from a billionaire family, but a multimillionaire. He was able to carry it off. Obviously, Donald Trump carried it off four years ago, um, appealing to the common man, even though he was any, anyone but. Uh, why is that? Well, it's, it's, it's this whole move towards socialism that we're seeing, you know, from Bernie Sanders to Liz Warren and this whole idea that it's somehow bad to be successful. And uh, that's, why, that's why all the Democrats are proposing these huge tax hikes is because they want, they, they, they say, look, it's immoral, right? It's immoral to be successful. So if it's immoral to be successful and Michael Bloomberg's there, living proof of the American dream and succeeding, whether he comes across effectively in a debate or not. I think last night he did not. Um, is he doomed? I mean, is, is, is a candidate arguing in that party for the virtues of capitalism, even wanting, in his case, to hike taxes on the well-to-do like himself? What, what's going to happen? Oh, I, 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 think, I think he's got a, a real uphill battle because the party has gone, has moved left, and, uh, you know, he's saying he's a centrist. He's saying he can beat Donald Trump. But the reality is a lot of people in America still believe in capitalism. They still believe that successful people should be rewarded. And I, th I think he's got, a tough, he's got a tough road to hoe with uh, the Democratic Party, for sure. Yeah, it's a different view of the country, but certainly in that party for the time being. But we'll see what, what happens. Uh, Tom, thank you very much. I appreciate it.